we're up absolutely super early this morning and we've got both of the horse box with us because we're going to Dodder Hill Equestrian Centre to take Baby Dream to an obstacle course. Hello Dream Boy! Oh he's very dirty! Oh no! Can you walk him straight on? What's the chances? Dodder Hill Equestrian Centre is in Droitwich, which is in Worcestershire, and it's run by Aaron Stevenson, who has built Dodder Hill over the past eight years to be a relaxed environment where horses and people can grow and learn together. They offer a range of events, clinics and even camps with traditional, natural and holistic approaches. As well as clinics run by Aaron, there are also clinics run by external trainers, coaches and practitioners. How has he got poo on his nose? So silly. They also offer arena hire in their 20 by 65 metre sand and carpet fibre indoor arena. And they also run a rehabilitation livery as well as an Arabian stud. I don't think we're going to be able to get the poo off him and uh, I don't think he's going to look very smart. I think we should have got up at least two hours earlier. <laughs> but I didn't think he would cover himself in poo. I found today's event on Facebook and I will add a link in the description box below so that you can give their Facebook page a like and find out more about them. This is actually the very first time that Dream will have ever been in an indoor arena. As you can see, he finds it really quite intimidating at first, but he is such a brave little boy that he just keeps going and he trusts us. This is also the very first time that Dream has been on the lorry since we rescued him from the slaughterhouse nine months ago. To be honest, he's never seen anything before. He's never. Yeah, no, no, he only goes little for little walks out. Yeah. yeah. So, because he's feeling a little bit tense, the more you can move his feet, the more you can change direction. Mm -hmm. I spent the first few minutes just making him feel a bit more assured and telling him he was a good boy because his eyes were popping out of his head and he was in a brand new environment with all of these brand new never seen before horses who were also really quite nervous.
Hier ist die Tüte. We're in a new environment. The adrenaline's up, isn't it? Oh, yeah. oh look, oh, everything's going on, yeah. Go with him, go with him, keep moving, keep changing direction. But when he does find that, oh, and he starts to slow down. So see, he's getting a little bit antsy again because he's throwing his head. So go walking again. Okay. But when he starts, that you feel that softness and him slow, then just stop and hang out and scratch with him. Because okay. it's about being able to be calm in a different environment. Yeah. Dream, dream. Come on. Where the focus is relaxing with you, rather than him still being unstalked. The idea is we want him to slow right down and feel that he can just be in this environment without me. Oh, 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 what they're doing over there, what they're doing over there. Yeah? We want it that his head comes lower and he breathes out. His eyes suffer. See, his eyes quite like. Yeah. <laughs> This is so much fun. Come on then. This way. I knew that Dream would be fantastic with the obstacles. For those of you who watch my vlogs and have been watching for a while, you'll know that I've been doing this kind of thing with Baby Dream since he was just a few months old. When we rescued him at just six months old, he was very frightened, very nervous and completely unhandled. So it did take a lot of effort to get him to a situation where he wasn't afraid anymore. And that took a lot of obstacles like this, like the archway with the strings hanging down. I find those are amazing for desensitization. And I also love to use tarpaulins. So I'll link that video to the end of this one and you'll be able to see how I set up just little obstacles like this in the field and it costs absolutely no money at all but obviously that is no substitute whatsoever for an experience like this one you see when you have a new puppy or a new dog you straight away take them to socialization classes but for some reason that isn't pushed as much for equestrians and for horse owners i've never understood that because if you want a good relationship with your horse, you need to know what their triggers are. You need to know if they're going to be safe to go and meet up with your friends and go for a lovely ride together. You can't do that if you haven't put this mental stimulation and groundwork in first. Good boy. You're a good boy. Let's face it. When was the last time you took your horse or pony out on a play date? chances are you never have so then when you're out and about and you suddenly see other horses in the distance or oh god forbid you have to ride past a horse how do you know how your horse is going to react that's why experiences like this are so invaluable Come on then, go and have a look at the ball. Come on. <laughs> I'm going to have to get him one. <laughs> Now, out of all of the things that yeah, were in this arena, I never in a million years thought that the purple carpet was going to be the thing the 
that Dream would be frightened of. It didn't even cross my mind that something like this would bother him. But it really did. I think this is going to be something that we need to work on at home a little more. Come on. Good boy, good boy. Come on. Come on. Oh. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> what is it, dream boy? Oh, come on. I have to say, one of my favourite areas in the arena had to be this little platform. It was an absolutely perfect spot to be able to play the circling game and to also get your horse or pony used to standing up on the platform. I have been looking into getting an old tractor tyre so that I can fill in the middle and have a platform like this. But I just thought this palette was perfect. And let's face it, it's so easy to find palettes. This is definitely something that I'll be recreating back at home. Good boy. Just like tops, I absolutely love flags. Now, a flag can teach your horse or pony so many things. The waving and moving motion can help a spooky horse. Lying the flag across your horse's back can get them used to having a rug on. I love to add yeah, flags and plastic bags and just random things, really, just tied onto the fences around my field. Your pony's going to be bulletproof, you know. Because it's an amazing way to desensitise your horse to movement and to help them get over the fear that they're going to be killed by a speck of paper that just so happens to be blowing in the wind. Happier, more relaxed. Oh. Yeah? For him, he's young, full of testosterone. Yes. <laughs> like, you know, patterns. Give him a little Cheers. pattern today. And then when he lets go and he has his little yawn, like, you'll get so much more done. <laughs> really cute. He likes him. Oh. Okay, so we're all going to leave together so nobody gets left behind. And then I'm going to put the gates onto the car park while everyone loads. Just as a safety measure, so we're not open off the road, okay? Oh, no. He's so dirty. You know where the gate is? Yeah. Do you know that thing that they do at the fashion shows when they like trot and then they swap things yeah. when they're running? They kept doing that. Did they? Yeah. Wow. I don't know. It's oh, feet, it's outside again. Outside space. <laughs> wow, outside space. Six feet, six feet, six feet. I know. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> so it was finally time to go back home on Bertha, our horse box. I just knew that he'd go on perfectly, which he did. And I couldn't even tell he was on the box on the journey home. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. You're a good boy. Is this one Good boy. Such a good little boy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. There you go. Off you go.
and then it was so lovely to see Bruce be able to lead him off the box and straight back into our field to the herd that had clearly been waiting for him for the whole time he'd been gone. 